What's going on guys and girls, welcome back to the channel. Got another game highlights video for you. I've uh, been training with a club by the name of NHC playing out of Metro Arena in Espo for the last few weeks. And um, these guys are an elite group. They have uh, quite a bit of Mestis and Liga experience within them. Uh, so it's really high pace gameplay and um, really great training skate for um, for a goalie who, who needs it, really. Um, I gotta get my game back up another level and uh i think these guys are preparing me for that so without further ado let's get into it i love playing at this rink um home of kieko espo my hometown team um but i mean the lighting the the ice conditions it's it's freaking awesome to be able to play at a rink like this regularly um, i would never have even dreamt of it in toronto um, the ice is usually in such bad condition there, but we won't get into that. Um, let's get into it. Uh, so, I mean, this game, honestly, I, I let in more goals than I thought I did. Um, the, the pace was so fast, I, I was actually gassed. Um, I would say about halfway through, I was, <laughs> I was really starting to get gassed. And, uh, well, there's the first one right away. I didn't even, haven't even made a save at this point, I'm already fishing the puck out of the net. Um, I mean, great pass, one T. I was too slow to get across. Oh, and this one, I mean, as soon as I feel the guy uh, digging around my butt with a stick, uh, it's gonna close those legs up real quick. Sometimes that's all you can do. You never wanna panic when you know an opposing forward's coming in with their stick, because you might actually have the puck secured and then you knock it loose by yourself when you panic. So. Secure yourself. Yeah, a couple quick goals there. Um, I mean that cross crease one T, no choice, no, no chance there. Uh, need uh, that, that was a nice save. That was a nice save. I gotta say, I, I felt my groin go a little on that one. And it's funny on camera; it doesn't even look like I extended that much, but on the ice, it sure felt like it. But yeah, a um, couple quick goals before that. That was a huge save. Came back and scored right away after that as well. It's always nice when you can get a big save and then a goal right away on, for your side. But um, yeah, the pace of the game is pretty high. I I didn't like. I honestly I thought I fa faced more shots, um, but um, I mean, it's the it's the quality, not the quantity, right? They're making me move a lot too, which doesn't help. And here I went into a panda. Um, then I tried to cut off that pass. It was a saucer over the net. Not over the net, I mean over the crease, but... And then here again, um, another example of why you should always be prepared to cut off those uh, cross crease passes by any means necessary. And if it's on the glove side, then you gotta get your glove out and catch those pucks. Turn your wrist upside down. I know it can seem a little awkward, but... Um, it's a great little technique to cut away those passes. The less scoring chances you're giving them, I mean, the less you're going to get scored on. That's pretty simple. I mean, cross crease chances are pretty high risk, so better to just avoid them altogether if you can. So be active with your stick, be active with your gloves. It's not up to your defenseman to stop those from coming through. Unfortunately, it's not. The backdoor play is up to your defenseman to stop, but um, if that puck is crossing the crease, then you better be there to stop it. Yeah, it's things happen pretty quickly with the cross ice passes, cross crease plays, backdoor plays, and you cannot cheat. And that was that was a freaking awesome deflection um i was leading with my stick because i mean the puck wasn't originally going for five hole but the fact that i was trying to track the original shot is what opened up my five hole and it was a great deflection yeah edge protectors coming off nothing new there and i just got sniped on that one like I was gonna say, like you, you can't give these guys an inch because they'll take it. Um, and if you're if you're in a situation where it's you know um, 
they've got a shot and a pass option. If you cheat either way, if you're not reading the play perfectly, they're gonna beat you. The moment you cheat is the moment they're just gonna snipe it past you. That's funny, I had a I had a morning skate at the same rink the same day. And I faced another penalty shot, which I stopped. That's two penalty shots, two stops in one day. Two different two different games. Don't think I've ever had that happen before. I was going for the scorpion there, thinking he's gonna try to bounce it off me. That one I didn't even know. I, honestly, I didn't even know how it went in. <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought I got scored on on that one. <laughs> kind of dropped my arm. You kind of like see my arm slink back. Like, ah, oh, goddamn, I got beat on that, that terrible angle. But no, 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 I was there. I was there. I was in the right spot, and so was he. Unfortunately. I mean, come on, like. Oops. Come on, guys. Look at all that empty space. Where's my defense? Oh, yeah. Those jam plays. I gotta score from there. Come on. Come on. Nope. Not there either. A little shenanigans going on. Just trying to make sure nobody falls on top of me. It breaks my leg in three different spots. No. Yeah, see, those are the backdoor plays where, I mean, you gotta be coming off the post way quicker, and, well, coming off the post way quicker on that one, too. That's, that's a wraparound goal that I shouldn't be getting beat on. But, I mean, it was a nice move, but I shouldn't be getting beat there. I was too slow recovering from the, the initial rush. And over there, I don't know what I don't know what happened there. I just wasn't tracking the puck properly. Shot came around and just didn't track it. It's off my angle. I mean, that's what happens when you're tired. You start making stupid mistakes like that too. You just gassed. And you want to try to move as little as possible. <laughs> I mean, you can tell I'm not even recovering after. Uh, after oh yeah, oh. he looked me off pretty bad on that one. I mean, I, th I thought he was going for the pass, 100%. And I cheated just a little bit. And like, like I said, you cheat just a little bit, that's all they need. But yeah, like, I, once I'm going down, I'm not even recovering. I'm just getting up straight up. I'm not, I'm not doing any extra butterfly slides or anything. Anything like that. I hope I've been held. Yeah. Am I holding the mic cold enough? I hope, I hope so. Well, honestly, yeah, it's it's fun playing with these guys. Um, it turns uh, turns Shinny into uh, well, feels like a hour and a half with Keeks. <laughs> uh, I mean, I just I was so exhausted after this. Uh, they will burn you with those cross crease plays every single time. I mean, those are the ones where you need your defense to to be active with the sticks and, and hopefully cut those passes off, but I mean, you, like I said, you can't cheat. I mean, if you're gonna cheat for the pass, they're just gonna snipe it off you and it's gonna be a bad angle goal, so I'd rather avoid those. I'd rather get scored on with a cross crease than a direct shot. But yeah, I mean, 40 shots, um, <laughs> 13, goals, 13 goals against though. That's, that's a lot. I mean, not that I had a chance on most of them, but still, they get double-digit goals. Jesus. I mean, not my best outing, but... I mean, I don't think I played poorly either, but... I mean, yeah. It's a high-level group, and it's shinny, so there will be goals. Anyway, that's that. Um, yeah, I mean... Obviously, I'm trying to do these videos a little more on the regular. Um, and like I mentioned before, I do have quite a bit of 
older footage that I can kind of sit down and talk through. So it's a little more interesting to watch, I guess. I'm going to be uh, stepping away for a while. Um, nothing bad. Just a little vacation that I've been planning for a while. And um, of course, just as just as the season is starting to get going is when I'm leaving. And it um, doesn't really help when it comes to finding a team if I'm going to be gone for three weeks. So I'm just going to keep training with this group. Uh, hopefully there will still be a spot for me when I come back. But um, yeah, I mean, we'll pick this back up in September and we'll go from there. So until then, um, enjoy the rest of summer. Try to get outside as much as you can. Enjoy the sun. Enjoy the nice weather if you have any. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.